Okay, so let's hope I'm recording now. But uh, these are less than ideal conditions. My landlord is leaving. I've got a van down the uh, end of this ramp here. And I have literally taken rubber straps and put them on and around a four-wheel drive electric skateboard on the front and the back. The board has a, um, a little towel on it. So I didn't want the grip tape. It's a nice deck. I uh, didn't want the grip tape to get messed up. But this is an old pegged Rogers Brothers street luge. It has no wheels or trucks on it. Um, all the wheels and trucks and the power plant is provided by the, uh, the electric skateboard. So to make things worse, we've got like a big diesel truck that wants to kill me. There is a, um, a van blocking view of anybody passing by. I've got my Insta 361R camera on the end of a big selfie stick. And I gotta hold that and kind of gently put it away. There's a chance that this nose will dive in and pole vault. So I'm gonna go super, super slow, FOC, type of um, motor controllers means when I very, very lightly feather the brakes, you kind of jump, so this won't be too smooth. But other than that, what could possibly go wrong, right? Uh, this electric street luge. So there's the scrape. Now let's venture out and see what's going to kill me around the corner. And it's a Camaro. Okay, looking back, nothing. Alrighty. So, uh, Let's not go very fast and uh, do this. kind of a, a turn I can do so okay I did not hit the back of the van that's good so I can do a U-turn in a cul-de-sac now I'm not really using my feet here to turn um, this is all upper body I haven't had to grab a rail or anything this is really just kind of butt checking but I probably have more use of my my back and butt and legs so Uh, let us take the remote control off. 
off. Remote control is the single easiest way to do something really stupid on an electric skateboard. Um, not that any of this was smart, um, but uh, that was the world's fastest electric skateboard to street luge conversion imaginable. I literally put a towel, two rubber straps on an electric skateboard, went for it, it worked. Um, I guess the only other thing worthy of mention is that I intentionally put the my butt, my center of gravity between the wheelbase way far forward as you do on a luge. You do not want to be sitting over the back tires. And even though, yeah, you could practically do a nose wheelie and get that front end downward, we'll put kind of a ski with maybe an inline wheel between the heels and keep that from snagging on a speed bump or a hole and do that. So it's acceptable to have a fair amount of weight overhanging the front because what's critical is that again, you're towards the, like the front of the board, towards the front of the wheelbase and for um, our disabled um, rider, we want to get that center of gravity as low as possible. This is higher than you'd ever really want. And so we got to figure out how much he can flatten out his legs. His sit ski has a almost a 90. It has quite a bit of bend and a high center of gravity. But I think, you know, when you're leaning over an edge like that and you have poles, that's not such a bad idea. But you don't want like a butt that's a foot up here to have to come a foot over to the side of a lean steer vehicle. It just doesn't like, you know, work. So we'll get a low CG, probably some things that is either his elbows or his torso can use to lean this thing over. When it's just a street luge and you don't have a remote control and a selfie stick in your hand, those handlebars here is what's used um, to make a turn. Another thing that if you're not a loser, you wouldn't necessarily notice this, but if you're on a pegless luge, or you just have a little bit of support under your thigh, you're actually gonna put your feet on like kinda the wrong side of the luge, and butt check, and use this hand to pull you over. But you actually kind of, you know, rotate your feet to what appears to be the wrong side. I don't think Dawn is going to do that unless the seat can actually pivot. And we'd have to figure out if a pivoting seat makes sense or to fix him in a permanently forward facing situation. I think the best thing to do is to try both out with the idea that that may be advantageous that he can get his butt to sit on the rail pull over or use god that's annoying um but we'll see bottom line is i should shut up cut this video off post it for him and um make something a little bit more realistic and secure chris chapit out